Salutations, American viewers. Hola, las viewers mexicanas. My name is Tanner Jangles. Je m'appelle Ted. <laughs> You've completely switched languages there. English, please. I'm Ted Nurse, and for the next five minutes, we'll let you know what's happening in your backyard. Your dog just defecated. In other news, man or mannequin. A Denver resident, Dale Porch, clapped and died on his own last name. A porch. Now, when a mailman came upon the corpse on the porch, he thought it was a mannequin still left up from All Hallows' Eve and walked past the porch's corpse. Which, of course, is reasonable, because we all know Mr. Porch had quite the affinity for mannequins and early November hijinks. Obama's president. Coffin therapy, it's the new Ukrainian craze. Ever pretend you're Dracula, but you didn't have a coffin come morning? <laughs> well, the Ukrainian name, a man by the name of Stepan Pilonak, a coffin maker, is now expanding his business from the dead to the undead. Not zombies. Yes, Tanner, not zombies. But people who feel depressed are now invited to soak away their sorrows in coffins rented for 15-minute sessions. It seems remarkably counterproductive to me. But now, let's talk about Lindsay. Miss Lohan has been arrested for letting her love for a member of the Irish boy band, The Wanted, get out of hand. At 4 a.m., Lindsay was arrested for third-degree assault on another woman who was talking to one of the members of the band. Lindsay, you were going downhill for a while, and now you have just reassured me that you are still going nowhere. Sometimes I wonder what that other trick Quinn from The Parent Trap is doing now. And now over to Nimbus Ned with The Whiny Weather. <coughs> N Ned, you're on. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> to know the weather, Ned. You're a paid weatherman. <laughs> it's gonna rain. I mean... <laughs> Well, any, any, what's it gonna look like, Ned? It's rain, man. Like, it's gonna look like this. Alright. Uh, thanks, Ned. <laughs> we now have an interview with someone named Seth Ro Rogen. Uh, apparently he's done stuff. Now on to you, Tanner. Thanks, other Tanner. Today we're here with someone named Seth R Rogen? Uh, uh, Rogen, actually. Ah, uh, yes, Seth Rogen, who assures us he's been in movies. I have, man. I've starred in uh, 28 movies, and I have my own page on IMDb. Would I have seen any of these films? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Knocked Up, Superbad, Pineapple Express. Not really ringing any bells. When you called, you said you were a fan of my work. Oh, well, I do know you were spectacular in Donnie Darko. It was Ricky Danforth. Donnie Darko? <laughs> I was in that movie for less than 15 minutes, and my name wasn't even said once. Hopkins was only in Silence of the Lambs for 20. Oh, well, huh. Uh, thank you for the Silence of the Lambs comparison, but, uh... Oh, no, I wasn't comparing you. Anthony Hopkins is a much better actor. Have you collaborated frequently with anyone on these movies? Uh, I don't know, uh, Judd, Jay, Martin, Jason James. And these people do... Judd Apatow, our director. Jay from... Uh, never mind, uh... Jason Siegel, James Franco. Oh, Jason and James are fantastic. Have you ever seen their old show, Freaks Geeks? I was in that show, actually. Uh, I, was a, I was in the title sequence. I was a main character. I don't recall. But anywhere on a Freaks and Geeks movie? No, there's been, uh, there's no, been no plans in, for a Freaks and Geeks movie since, like, 2000. Well, you probably wouldn't know anyway. With your bit part, they probably didn't want to, you know, pay you with the success of the other actors to be in the movie. Why don't you ask me some real questions here? Like, uh, what was it like writing Superbad at 17? Uh, what am I working on now? Well, I'm still not completely convinced you were in these movies, much less that you wrote one of them at 17. But I think the question on, on the minds of anyone who might know you is, when will we see a sequel to Observe and Report? Or, uh, The Green Hornet? And also, were you nominated for your work on Zack and Mary? Is this a joke? No, it's not. Aren't you a comedian? Shouldn't you know when someone's just joshing? These are burning questions that need answers, but you just keep being difficult. These are questions you could type into Google and get the answer. I flew all the way out here in the middle of filming for my next movie, and I just... Is it a sequel to The Green Hornet? Uh, well, Franco reprised his role. I so loved him in the first one. He died at the beginning of the movie, and no, there's never going to be a sequel to The Green Hornet. Well, I'm not sure if your movie's for me, or anyone, for that matter. <laughs> at least one of us learned something today. Yes, indeed. Also, would you mind putting in a word with me for Franco? Maybe have him on the show? I'm a huge fan. Oh, no, no, yeah, I got that. You only said that about uh, 27 times. So is that a yes or a... Uh... Okay, you know, you know what? I, I'm done with this. See you later, buddy. Uh, uh... 
It's now time for our rapid fire wrap up stories. Cell phone provider Sprint wants to partner with Dish, but they don't have iPhones or Breaking Bad, so who really cares? Former Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger got a really bad haircut. And it looks like he went to the wrong chopper! <laughs> a third donkey has been killed on a, with a bow and arrow on a Texas family's land. So it would appear as though Orlando Bloom is getting back into the character for his role in the third Hobbit film as he was spotted in full costume near the Texas family's land. And Obama's still president. I'm Ted Nurse. And I'm Tanner Jangles. And, and this, this has, has been, been TNT, TNT News. TNT. I'm dying